Assalamualaikum and welcome to another episode of Zilfi TV. Today we are going to review the different types of Eleco benches and compare that to the IPF combo rack. All right. So the reason I am making this video is because I get a lot of questions from powerlifters especially who wants to who want to set up their own uh, home gym and but they don't necessarily have the budget for the IPF combo rack. Now the typical questions that I usually get from them are how wide is the the bench and also how high. Okay. So in front of me, right here, we have three Eleco uh, benches. On my left, <laughs> on my right here is the XF80 flat bench. In the middle is the classic flat bench. And right at the end, on my left here, is the classic adjustable bench. So before the taping of this video, I actually measured the benches. Let me just say that it might not be accurate and it might be different than what you see on the Eleco website, but it should give you an indication of the measurements. All right, like I've mentioned, I've already taken the measurements uh, beforehand. So let's take a look at it and compare them uh, side by side. Okay, now I want to um, share with you the specs of the IPF combo rack first so that you have an idea um, when I mentioned the measurements for the other benches. Okay, so the IPF bench, the length, and by the way, I'm just talking about the length of the pad, um, the width of the pad and the height of the pad itself. Okay, so for the IPF combo racks bench pad, it measures 122 um, cm long, okay? And the width is 30 cm, and the height is 43.5 cm. For the XF80 flat bench, the length is actually 124.5, which is longer than the combo rex. The classic flat bench is 122.5, which is marginally um, longer than the combo rex. And the adjustable bench is 118, so this is actually uh, shorter than the combo rex. In terms of the width, now the XF80 uh, flat bench has a, it is rectangular in shape. So the width from the top to the bottom is exactly the same and uh, it measures 31 cm, right? So again, I reiterate for the competition bench, it is 30 cm, so just one cm uh, wider. For the classic uh, flat bench, the, so the, the shape of the classic flat bench is wide in the, in, in the middle and narrow at the top and at the bottom. So at the widest point, the bench is actually 30.5 cm. So that's about 0.5 cm uh, wider than the combo rex. And, um, at the, at the top and at the end, uh, the, the width is 28.5, okay? Um, obviously, the combo rex's bench pad is um, uniform in, in width. Now, for the classic adjustable bench, the width is similar to the classic flat bench at the widest part, which is 30.5 uh, cm. And at the top, uh, where you, you uh, put down your, your head, it is actually 29 cm, which is 0.5 cm wider than the classic flat bench. Next, let's move on to the height. Again, the height for the combo rack is 43.5 cm from the floor all the way to the top of the pad. For the XF80 flat bench, the height is 45.5. So it's actually two centimeters higher 
than the combo racks. Okay? For the classic flat bench and the adjustable bench, they are both at 43.5 cm, which is similar to the uh, IPF combo rack. I'm going to go ahead and um, try to do some bench press with each of these benches and just show you how uh, it looks like. I have to say that I'm not a technical bencher. Um, I just, you know, lie down, I just take the bar out and then I'll ju I just press and that's it. So hopefully I can feel the difference between each bench and uh, translate that to you and hopefully that will help you make the decision in terms of which bench you should get. Okay, I've got everything set up and uh, let's try the XF80 flat bench first. <sighs> Again, as I mentioned, I'm not very technical when it comes to any lifts. That's the XF80 flat bench. This is how easy it is when you have wheels. Next up is the classic flat bench. <sighs> Let's move on to the classic adjustable bench. Like I've mentioned earlier, the width is uh, similar to the classic flat bench, so I don't expect any difference in terms of um, the lift. So let's see how it goes. So what are my thoughts on, on each of the benches? Um, number one, I do not feel any difference in terms of the height. As I mentioned, the um, XF80 flat bench is um, higher than the classic benches and, uh, and that's because, again, I'm not a technical uh, lifter. So probably for you, the two centimeters or whatever it was uh, difference in terms of height might make a lot of difference. However, in terms of the width, I can definitely feel the width of the XF80 flat bench more than the two classic benches. But if you are competitive and you like to simulate um, the competition uh, bench as close as possible, then I would recommend that you actually choose the classic flat bench uh, among the three. Um, the reason I don't recommend the adjustable bench is because it has a gap here, as you can see, between the main pad and also the, the pad where you sit on. Again, I think it depends on your your need and you, you're just using the bench for home gym, then I suppose the adjustable bench makes the most sense since you are able to use it as a flat or uh, an inclined bench. And last thing that uh, I actually forgot to mention, and this could factor in into your decision, is that the weight of each bench. The classic adjustable bench is 35 kg, so it's the heftiest. Uh, it does feel very solid, but you don't have to worry about the weight so much because it comes with rollers and you can just roll it around instead of just um, carrying it around. Okay, now the classic flat bench here is actually 20 kgs. It's actually the lightest, right? And followed by the, um, the XF flat bench. The XF flat, flat, the XF flat bench it's actually 25 kg. So initially I was surprised with the weight difference because when you carry the XF flat bench and you do have to carry them because it doesn't come with a roller, uh, it feels very light. But when you carry this, it's, it feels heavy. Then I figured that, you know, because the, the classic flat bench on one side is other wheels and the other side is just one leg. So it feels a bit um, not balanced when you carry it. So it feels a bit heavy. But according to the website, this is five kgs lighter than the XF80 flat bench. The best way is for you to find a gym which has all these uh, benches. I know it's difficult 
Um, usually, gyms, they tend to settle on either a flat or an adjustable bench, um, not necessarily all three. But if you are around this area and um, if you like to drop by, come by to Space U8 uh, Bukit Jelutong Shah Alam and you can try them out yourself. I think that's probably the best way for you to make the right decision. I know that, you know, Aleco is a premium brand and you don't want to make the wrong investment. So you want to get it right the first time. So I think the best way is for you to just try it. If you have friends who have bought them before, um, I recommend that you go there and try their bench out. If you have any questions about the benches, uh, obviously just leave your questions in the comment section below. I usually answer all of them quite fast uh, because there are not many, many of you out there watching here, this, this video anyway. Hope to grow this, this channel though. So if you like this video, first of all, give it a thumbs up and then do share it with your friends. Let us know what, what sort of uh, videos you want us to make in the future. And I thank you for watching again. I hope to see you in the next Zilfit TV episode. See you.